I grew up getting bullied, getting picked on, always having a sense of not fitting in. So I think subconsciously I always feel the need to prove or to fit in or to um, have reassurance. My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. I hear that you guys are embarking on this 30-day mind, body, spirit journey, adventure, and I am here as your body expert. What kind of strength do you need to work on? One problem area that I like hate is just my midsection. I live in the gym as of the past, you know, couple months, so I'm shaping up, and it's cool to kind of watch your body change a little bit, but I definitely want to go deeper. I have to. I want to like uh, just maybe focus on building a leaner frame and something a bit more feminine. I know I need to be disciplined at least to like maintain a certain level of health, but also to really do some work in fixing some of the degeneration that soccer's had. I'm doing this for my daughter who just, she became a vegetarian a year ago, so she likes to do a lot of outdoor things. What are the obstacles that have kept you from actually really hitting it and showing up today being like, I'm in perfect shape, I don't need to make any changes? If I can just learn to discipline my, my diet, some of my intentions for this show would be being a more balanced person. From my spiritual life, to my diet, to my health, to my habits. I have to have a piece of chocolate every day or I'm just, give me the chocolate no one gets hurt. I live in a town that doesn't have a gym, that doesn't have these kind of things, so I think it's about how do I be creative in my workout. My fear from a physical perspective is that I won't take the time right now to really fix and take care of my body. And by the time I have kids and a family, I'm gonna be wanting to do simple things and not going to be able to experience that. Okay, so I'm gonna give each one of you just like a little suggestion to go away with today. My friend, I think that finding a new way to look at your diet is actually gonna help you achieve a better, more resilient body. I think you should try to find ways of incorporating your family into fun activities. Don't hear the coach screaming at you and just let yourself be creative and do what feels right to your gut. I can get down with that. Let's do it. really love to do with people that I'm working with is to take them to inspiration point. I find that when I take people outside into a beautiful setting like this and they have their big revelations. What I also want to do is take you guys into a setting where we have no fitness equipment. So we are going to be creative in coming up with some new ways of getting exercise. Sound good? Great. All right, let's do it. do walking lunges. I want you guys to pick a number that is the maximum amount that you think you can do. You can surpass your goal and do more. You can stop shy of your goal. So, with knowing nothing else, how many would you pick? Oh, gosh, 60. Okay. Ooh. I gotta say 60. Okay. 61. <laughs> <laughs> you little turd muffin. 61. Yep. Is the goal. That's what she said. All right, said. let's go. So I want you guys to do them somewhat quickly, okay? Count in your mind where you are. Initially, Exotic Jess and Natalie were both kicking my butt with the lunges, but I finally, I eventually passed Jess. Now, you're gonna do 10 more than oh, the God. number that you stated. <laughs> 10 more. Interesting, huh? Perfect. Where are you? 65. 67. Hang in there, guys. Good, push it, push it, push it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You're capable of more than you realize. Ooh. 
Yep. I like that I'm a doer. For many of us that aren't 100% happy and in love with who we are and are not 100% fulfilled, we could just celebrate ourselves. But if that's not the case, we often look for that to come from outside sources. Stop at 100, okay? Yeah. Otherwise, you will be crippled. <laughs> yep, walk it out. So interesting. Good girl. Nice job, guys. And two. Okay. <laughs> come on through. So, my friends, this is Inspiration Point. Ask yourself what is one thing that you want to identify and release and get rid of. But I want you to call it, say it, throw it out and get rid of it. Insecurities can suck it! Awesome. Good for you. You on? Um, I'm not gonna scream it, but I'd have to say insecurity also. I'd like to release my ego and start feeling comfortable asking for what I want. I was like, literally, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take every insecurity from the top of my head to the bottom of my toes, and I'm gonna scream it, and it's gonna be gone. Admitting any flaw for most people is pretty embarrassing, whether it's that you're wrong or you're insecure. I grew up getting bullied, getting picked on, always having a sense of not fitting in. So I think subconsciously, I always feel the need to prove or to fit in or to um, have reassurance. Yeah, it was just a, such a good reminder that when you think you know so much, you really have so much more to learn. Ready to be loved.